Hey, Mike Swenson here with the Elite Advantage team, uh, talking about what goal setting looks like as you're looking to get into real estate. Um, you know, one of the things you want to focus on is you want to have some sort of plan of what your future is going to look like here when you get into real estate. A lot of times people just say, I want to try real estate out, see if it's good. Um, but yet we know that you have expenses and you need to make sure you're making enough money to hit those expenses. So um, in the short term, you know, we, we've talked about there's a, a transition period where you're still figuring things out. Um, it's going to take time to turn uh, a potential lead or a potential relationship with somebody into a closing, which equals income. And so you want to have uh, a good three to six months probably of some sort of expenses or some sort of plan where your expenses can be covered when you make that leap. But after that, you want to have some goals in place. And and one of the things that we do discuss with our agents is um, we first take a look at your, your income needs. So it's, you know, looking at what's rent, what's food, um, utilities, entertainment, and all that. What's that going to cost me? Um, and then we factor into some good stuff of, of goals and future things, whether it's, you know, putting a uh, renovating the kitchen, whether it's taking a vacation. Um, you want to look at all those expenses. You want to add on Uncle Sam because Uncle Sam's still going to get paid regardless of, of, of what happens. Um, you're going to also factor in what the costs are for whichever broker you choose. Um, so with all that, you're going to come up with a number um, and that's really going to be your income goal. Um, and we also say too, you know, you want some sort of stretch goal. Um, because you want to to be able to aim a little bit higher and 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 push you in a way that maybe you weren't going to be pushed in the past. So some sort of stretch goal, and then we back that out and we look at okay, based on that, um, how many closings am I need need going to have to have to hit that number? And we're looking at you know your average sales price based on what your market is. Um, you know what percent of of buyers versus sellers you want to look at, look at. And then maybe some ratios of, of conversions because we know uh, to have a conversation with somebody, that's probably going to lead to a certain number of appointments. When you have a certain number of appointments um, set, that means a certain number of appointments are going to be held. When you have an appointment, you're maybe going to sign some of those people uh, either to a listing or maybe a buyer representation agreement. Uh, for those people, a certain number, a, a lesser number will actually have a signed purchase agreement. And then sometimes things happen from a purchase agreement to a closing um, outside of your control. And, and maybe some of those closings don't happen. happen. So you have a funnel um, where you're looking at the top here. How much, how much candy do I need to put in the top to get the, the amount that I want out of the bottom? And so that's really where that sales funnel is in terms of real estate. So we talk about, A, what's your goal? What's the number you want to hit? What do you need to do to hit that funnel so enough stuff comes out on the bottom? And so um, that's something that if you're interested in talking about a little bit more, we'd love to show you or walk through what our process is on that to provide clarity to you. Because what you want to have happen is to know what do I need to show up and do each day that if I did that day over day over day over day, I know that a year from now I'm going to hit that goal or six months from now that number that I need is going to show up because I, I have clarity on that. So clarity is power. It's important to know your numbers. And that's how we walk through a great goal setting process with a prospective agent so that they know what do I need to do to hit the number that I need to hit so that I can have the life that I want to have. So if you have more questions, you want to learn more about that, please feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to walk through that with you. Thanks so much. Hey, wait. If you want to watch another one of our videos about buying, selling, or investing in real estate or resources for our agents, click here. If you want to subscribe to our channel, click here. Thanks.